Okay. Okay, so I'm recording this and um, what I'm gonna tell you guys is there is tons of information out on TOT on the product credit. But since I got back from our leadership incentive trip, I have gotten bombarded with a lot of questions. And part of it is because the emails and the customers are now getting in and trying to use their credits and have an issue. So I thought it would be best if I could just hop on and um, do a little video and just kind of walk through some of the steps that I am doing personally. Now that I'm back, I'm diligently working on these credits. And I thought it would be helpful if I just kind of walk through them with you. Again, most of this information is out on TOT, um, or you may have been on some webinars with the home office. If you're a senior consultant or above, you've gotten invited to be on um, some webinars. So um, let me just, I'm going to start off and just kind of share with you guys some of the things that I'm super excited about, the potential I see, and just walk through the steps on what your customers need to do, and then give you some hints and some strategy in making sure that your credits are redeemed. Okay, so let me hit share my screen and I'm hoping that you guys are gonna be able to um, see my screen. Um, let me pull this over. Okay, so Kelly, can you see where it says world-class team? Okay, good, you're my thumbs up girl tonight. Okay, so um, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you guys for being on this team and really working your business this summer. In the summer months, June, July, and August, it was um, it, it was fun. We actually had an outlet sale. We had some amazing customer specials, and we did phenomenal. However, during that time period, we moved our facility from Texas or to oh, to sorry, from Ohio to Texas, and we have seen a lot of bumps and hiccups in the road that they were not expecting. And because of hiring new people, getting new equipment, and this massive move, our shipping times are delayed. And in my 12 year history, I have never, ever, ever experienced this delay in shipping that we're having. So this is not normal. So if you are a new consultant, this is not normal. I have never experienced this amount of delay in our shipping time, but I am confident uh, in our product. Nobody's complaining about the products. They're gorgeous. If you guys have not, like you can see me smiling because I feel like our products and our catalog is better than ever. And I'm excited. However, I know there are some challenges in just the confidence in ourselves and our company and also in our customers. So. Um, to help with that, 31 has invested in giving some gifts to all of those customers that shopped in June, July, and August. Every customer is going to get a $20 credit if they ordered with you during those three months. So just to do a little recap, you guys probably know this. Um, it's really just a big thank you gift from the home office. You guys know we're a faith-based company and they always do the right thing. And they are giving thousands and thousands of customers $20 credits to be able to use in this brand new fall catalog. So with that being said, um, there's a process that we have to go through. Several years ago, we actually hired a guy from Home Shopping Network. His name was Rich Arthur. And at the Home Shopping Network, they all have customer accounts. Their customers all come on and they have a customer account, just like they would do at Amazon or other online places. You usually sign in, in as a customer. We have never had that at 31. And so we've been working on that for several years. And this just seemed like the perfect opportunity to roll out customer accounts. So um, it, it's two new things happening, customer accounts and this $20 product credit. But the great thing is, is these customers are now going in and create, creating these accounts um, to obtain that credit. So they have to go in and create the account to obtain the credit. And you guys know when you shop on Amazon, you get to go in and see your order history and you can do returns and all that. So all that is coming. So we know these customer accounts are kind of going to be the new wave of our business. Once they've done that, then they can go in and redeem that credit through the normal shopping experience that you are all used to, whether it's a retail customer or a party order. So um, the one caveat to that is these credits are not tied to the customer that they originally purchased it from. And so you want to make sure as the consultant, you're doing good customer service. You're on top of it. I want y'all to think about when you guys go to Target, you may go to Target in one city and when you travel, you go to another Target. They can choose where to spend their $20 gift card. Same thing with this product credit. They get to choose. As a matter of fact, a lot of our customers do shop with multiple consultants. 
but each customer is only getting one $20 credit. So it's up to them where to spend it. You want to make sure your name is at the top of the list. And to do that, we've got to be ahead of the game. Okay, so there are a lot of tools out there to help you communicate with your customers. One is we've already sent emails on your behalf. So if you have an active website that includes the newsletter, emails have already been sent out. You may have already experienced some of your customers redeeming their credits um, just because of the email generated from Home Office. There are tons of graphics out on TOT that walks them through setting up their account. And we also now, we have the PDF uh, report that I encourage you guys to pull that list all of your um, customers. And we're going to go through that in just a minute. Be, be it, no, let it be known that the credits expire on November the 11th. So we truly want these customers to use this $20 credit in this fall catalog. We're not moving it forward to the winter. We want them to be used pretty quickly so we can get them in, get them out, and get it some new products in their hands. And that way you can do the follow-up uh, in the winter time and go back to them and say, oh, by the way, now we have a new catalog. Okay, so the timing of it, it expires by November the 11th. That gives us time to ship it to them. And then your follow-up, your pink bag um, call, following up with them when they got their pink bag, is going to be, oh, by the way, I have a new catalog. Would you like to see it? Okay, so the timing of it is perfect. Okay, so let me just show you what we have as a team. Um, and if you're watching this recording and you're not on my direct G0, just know that your team has um, just the, amount, the same amount of opportunity that my direct team does as well. So our team, just like I'm telling you guys, there are thousands of these $20 credits out there. And my team specifically has received 4,683. That's a big deal. So if they just spent the $20 in, in credit, now I know the $20 will also cover tax and shipping, so if they buy a zipper pouch, um, you're only gonna get credit for $15. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. We want them to spend more than $20. We have a great customer special in September with the $25 purses. We have a great one in October, double customer special in October. Um, but if just by the $20, this is how much we could add to our team right now. Almost $70,000 could be added to our team between now and November the 11th. Okay, but we don't want them just to spend the $20. You guys know that when they spend more than $20, um, you're going to make more money. You're going to make money on the $20 if they spend it on product. So don't encourage them, and I'm saying this, and you know, I know it's being recorded, but don't encourage them just to buy $15 a zipper pouch, okay? Encourage them to apply that $20 to a bundle that they would love to have. So turn that $20 into a $20 commission. And I want y'all to think through this. If we can get our customers, our average spend in our company is about $70 per customer. But imagine if we could encourage them to spend $80. So we're just going to use the $80 um, as kind of the mark here. You would make $20. You make 25% on everything that you sell. So when you sell $80, you're going to make 20. So I know that's two 20s, but don't just settle for them just to spend the 20. Encourage them to purchase a bundle. Encourage them to do some Christmas shopping, to look at the customer specials. They have to spend 35 to get the customer special. You guys know that. So 31 has put together what we call pink sky bundles. These are new just to really kind of help us redeem these credits. They're called pink sky bundles. And it's supposed to be like the sky is the limit. So they put together three of them. And you may notice right smack dab in the middle, there is an all around town tote and that chestnut. Um, you guys may also know that that's completely sold out of. However, we have um, put some aside for these pink sky bundles. So if you've got a customer wanting that chestnut around town tote, the only way to get it right now is through that bundle. Okay, we put some aside for these, um, specifically for these $20 redemptions. Okay, so you can see there's a game day bundle. Now there is Canadian pricing on here as well, but look over to the, to the um, right hand side of, the, of those prices. There's a game day bundle for $66. Again, you'll see the blanket in there. The only way to get that is through this bundle. Um, the Get Creative set, um, that's been a real popular one, especially with that new little Get Creative pouch uh, being released. So these are three that they put together specifically for this product credit redemption, okay? Um, but let's kind of move forward on that thought. I just want y'all to start thinking, okay, 
So not just spending $20, we want them to apply that $20 towards a bundle. Um, we know it's, we're going into the most fashionable season of the year. Brand new fall catalog has got tons of new accessories with that um, uh, crushed berry and that chestnut and the black, black and white plaid. We've got some beautiful prints. So imagine if we took those $4,683 4, credits and we got our customers to spend $80. Now, again, I'm, I'm saying $80, not top tax and shipping. Then look how much more that would add to our team. Over $300,000 more would be added to our team. And of course, you have a piece of that pie. So I want y'all to see, I'm going to flip back just for a minute. Here's what it is if they would spend the 20 Okay, 69,000. But imagine if you would apply that towards an $80 bundle. Look at that. That's a massive difference. It's not only a massive difference in, in our team sales, but it's also a massive difference in your paychecks because again, you get a piece of that pie. So let's look, um, let's look forward at a couple more bundles. And these are some that we did here in my office. Um, I have posted them out on our team page. Uh, if you are, just gonna say this, if you're a director watching this and you're sharing it with your team, um, ask me if you don't have these and I'll give you these bundles. We made these up just here in our office um, to try to encourage that $80 spend. And so Crystal put these together and you can see all of them are more than $80. Women want a deal. And so these are capitalizing on the September special. So these are a little bit more timely, but we do have some October bundles that we put together as well. Um, but if you can get these six bundles, and if I, let's say I went to Kelly and said, Kelly, you've got $20 to spend. Look at these six bundles. Is there one that captures your eye? More than likely she will pick one of these. She's not gonna turn to that $15 zipper pouch. Okay, don't even put that in her head. I'm seeing some graphics floating around um, that you could get a free zipper pouch. Women definitely want a deal, but they also want a bundle. Okay, so don't be sharing those zipper pouch bundle or zipper pouch graphics I'm seeing floating around. Y'all see me wagging my finger. Okay, so let's talk about this $20 um, product uh, credit. So first thing you gotta do is you have got to run your report. Um, and if you go to TOT, I just try to put this on here. I hope you guys can see this. Kelly, can you see this? Okay, um, so this is basically the left-hand side is where I went to TOT and just screenshotted it. Over on the left-hand side, you can see there's a, a report button and you can click on that button. Okay, so this is, if you go to www.31today.com, on the left-hand side, there's this icon that says reports. All you have to do is click on that button. When you do, over here on the right-hand side of the screen, it's gonna pull up all the different reports that um, you're eligible to view. Now, I probably have a little bit more than what maybe you see, but I highlighted the one that you're looking for, and that's the Fraw Product Credit Customer customers. You see that? Okay, so um, if you're watching, give me a thumbs up if you've ran your report. I can see some of your faces. Have you gotten your report? Um, Amanda, you've gotten yours. Amy, you haven't done yours yet. Is it because you're not seeing it or you just haven't had a chance to do it? Just haven't had a chance to do it? Okay, um, I can't hear you, but I'm hoping that if you need help, reach out to me um, and let me know if you need help. Um, because it should be in on your dashboard and if you don't have it we need to get a hold of the home office but everybody should have had this report uploaded by now okay um, Amy you can type in the chat screen if you want that might help me see what you're saying too okay all right so um, this report here is mine let me stop sharing for just a minute here is my report and so basically what it does it has the customer's name it has their email it has their order number that they originally ordered on and their telephone number so if you're a texter you can text if you prefer email you can email and i'm going to share share with you my process in just a minute um, but you all should have a report and that report is going to be like your workbook that's the one you're going to be working through you're going to reach out to each customer this is money on the table. This is free money on the table, okay? So don't let a customer not use it. I mean, you guys would use a $20 coupon, right? You would use this coupon. Other girls will too. Okay, so now that you know where to find the report, let's talk about the report. And so I want you to look at the top half of this screen. 
And so I, um, I didn't post all mine in here, but I wanted you to see that this report is divided into two sections. Section one is those that ordered from you in June and July and August, and they ordered using their email. So if they ordered from you, they went on and they ordered on a party or a retail order and they used their email, they can create an account and immediately see their $20 product credit. So those are all the ones at the top of your list. Now I'm looking at my list and there are several of them that bought multiple times during that three month span. Each customer only gets one $20 credit. So the first person on my list, she actually ordered three times. She was in my gift buyers club. So she bought June, July, and August, but she only gets one $20 credit. Okay, it's one per person, and that's fair. The second section, so if you look at the back of the report, um, the very bottom section, it'll look like this. It'll say orders with your email or no email listed. And so it's not required to have an email uh, to order on our websites. It will be required now to have a customer account. Um, but a lot of us will enter orders and we will use our email address. Um, and you can see that that's gonna have a little bit of a, a negative um, result on this report because now that customer, when she goes and creates her account, she's still gonna wanna go create an account. Her product credit is not gonna be immediately available because the system does not have any record that she ordered in June, July, or August. So what's gonna happen is those people that ordered June, July, or August, you submitted the order and maybe you used your email, you're going to have to go to that customer and say, here's the order number, this is the month. And so they're gonna to have to, when they create their account, they're gonna to have to enter that order number. The only way for them to get that is to get it from you, okay? Unless it's on one of their, uh, they have their old shipping statement, they can pull it, but they probably don't. So it's your job for that second half of the report, which some of you guys may have a bigger second section because you've always used your email. Um, but hopefully you have the customer name and you know who that was. Now, if you combined multiple orders, so let's say you had three people that purchased and you put those orders together on a bulk order to save on shipping and had it all shipped to you, it's gonna be up to you to go in and say, okay, Amanda, Alice, and Andrea, you all ordered on this order number. Give her that order number and put the date in. 31 is using, um, is using good faith policy on this. So if three customers use the same order number and they have the same date that it was ordered, they're gonna give it to them. Now, if they start seeing a little, little bit of an abuse on that, on your side, they, they may call you and question you, um, hey, you've got 100 customers and they were all under your email. They may question that. But if you combined orders and put them under one order number, it's okay. You're still gonna tell your customer to create her account and you're gonna give her the order number. Once she has the order number and the month entered, it will pop, her, pop up her product credit immediately. Okay, so a lot of people do combine orders to save shipping, especially with that direct ship. That's okay, 31 understands that, and you're just gonna have to give that order number, which is on that report, to those customers, okay? Okay, so we, we can do a little bit more detail over that if y'all need to, but let's go to the next thing. Okay, so now you have, as the, as the consultant, you know how much money is on the table. You know which customers now have a $20 credit. So now we have to talk to our customers and there is a three-step process that your customer is going to have to do in order to obtain her credit. She's going to go directly to your website. So whatever your website is, she's going to go to that website and at the very, very top, she's going to click sign in and you'll know um, you can do this for yourself as well. If y'all have not created your own customer account, I would encourage you guys to walk through this on your own before you walk a customer through it. Okay, so um, regardless if a customer ordered with you or not during that time period, you wanna encourage them to go ahead and start creating customer accounts, okay? Because this is how we're gonna track their history going forward. So number one is they're gonna sign in. There's a little box at the top of your website. This looks very similar to Amazon. There's a sign in button. The second step is she's going to have to enter her, her um, um, sorry, she's going to have to hit create an account. So if she has never created an account, she'll uh, click on that little pink word, create an account. And then it's going to ask her to do her first name, last name, email, 
and, and her password. Now, the email should be the email that she originally ordered with. So if a girl has a work email and a home email, um, she needs to know which email she used when she originally ordered with you. If she does, if she uses the same email that she ordered with you back in June, July, or August, it will automatically link that to that order and her product credit will be there, okay? Now, if that customer um, ordered in a bulk order, she still wants to create an account just like this, but her product credit will not immediately appear as if she had used hers originally, okay? So this is the second step is you've got to get your customers to create their accounts. There's no list of product credits somewhere. They're only going to get the credit is if they create an account and go through the steps, these steps. Okay. So once she's done that, this is what it's going to look like. At the very top, if she's logged in, it won't say sign in anymore. It'll actually say my account and I'm logged in as myself here. And there's a, a middle section that says my benefits. If she ordered with that email that she just created her account with, this when she clicks on my benefits, this product credit, which I whited mine out, but it'll automatically be there. And it tells her she's got a $20 product credit and there's an expiration. The good news about this going forward is if there's ever an issue or if there's a return or a refund, she's gonna be able to go in here in years to come and be able to track any credit she's got for returns or what have you. Okay, so we're building on this eventually. So does that make sense? So she's gonna to have to create her account. Thank you, Amanda. She's gonna to have to create her account. And then if she ordered, I know I'm saying this because this is the biggest question I keep getting asked. Whatever email she used when she originally ordered in June, July, and August, when she creates her account, if she uses that email, her product credit will Im immediately be there. If you place the order using your email, she's going to have to, it'll, she'll click on my benefits and it will say, you need to click here to claim it. When she clicks there to claim it, this is what it, oh, no, I went on to the next one. Let's see. Okay, I didn't get a screenshot of that. Um, it'll, it'll say, click here to claim, and she'll it need to enter that order number, which you will have to give her. Okay, so she either has it immediately or she has to request it. Okay? Okay. So now we've got her credit. Now it's time for her to do a little shopping. So she can click up here. She can start shopping. I mean, she's in her account. She can hit the sale items. She can shop under a party. She can do whatever she wants. And she can fill her cart up with things and check out. And when she goes through the checkout process, that product credit will be listed right here under the product credit button. So there is no gift certificate number. She will not enter the product code here. This is the second top question I've been being asked, is that her, her gift certificate number is not working. It is not a gift certificate. It is a product credit, and it will appear in this drop-down box. When she clicks that arrow, it will automatically be there. As long as she's logged into her account, she's going through the checkout process, she will apply the $20 as a payment just like she would with a regular credit card. She will apply that and then she'll put the remainder on whatever credit card she chooses. It is not a gift certificate number. That product credit number will not work in the gift certificate box, okay? So just be careful that you don't use the language of gift certificate. It's a product credit. You're getting credit, okay? Because that has confused a lot of consultants. So that's how she redeems it. It's as simple as that. Once she shops, it's in the drop down. Now, this is if you guys have um, an older generation that does not shop online, like my mother, she will not go on in line and shop. And so we did get her credit. And um, this is what will happen. I will go through my virtual office, enter her or her order, she will have to go into her account. She still has to have an account. Of course, I set it up for her, so I was able to get it. But if it's not your mama, then it's your neighbor. She's going to have to have an account set up, and she's going to have to give you that product credit. You cannot see the product credit numbers, okay? And maybe eventually one day we will, but right now, she's going to have to give you that number. 
I can order for her and she gives me that number and I can change her total there, okay? So if you're entering orders for your customers, she has to give you that product number. Now she can give you her password and you can log on into her account and grab it. You know, so if she says, I have no idea, you can say, well, if you don't mind, I'll log into your account and I'll see if it's there, grab that number. Okay, so this is what it will look like if, as a consultant entering it in. Okay, so let's talk about how we're gonna get our customers to redeem. So you've got the report, you know how she needs to obtain and redeem the credit. Let's give her some fun ways to do it. And so these are some redemption ideas that I just threw, threw together a couple of them for you guys. There are tons of ways that you guys can do this. Number one is making sure your customers are in the know, sending them an email um, just to follow up. And I can show you the email that I did in just a minute. Um, and, and what I would encourage you guys to do is I would go ahead and set up a party link on your website because these orders, you guys can put all of these orders on a party and you can double dip. You can be the consultant and get the commission. You can also be the hostess and get all the rewards when these girls decide to redeem them. Now, if you had a big party in June and there was a hostess that had 20 customers there, you may invite her to re-host a party to, use, to let all her friends redeem their credits under a second party that that same girl hosts. Okay, so um, you need to know what you did in June, July, and August. If you did a bunch of you know, retail orders, you may set up your own party. If you had 10 really amazing hostesses that had big parties, you may go back to those 10 hostesses and ask them to rehost an online um, credit redemption party, okay? So know, know how your people originally bought. If they bought on a, par a large party with a hostess, go back to that hostess and see if she wants to rehost. You may pick up some new customers along the way. You can, I did this purses and perk, but just because right now our purses are $25. So you could go to the local coffee shop and do a purses and perk party where they can stop by and do some, um, uh, some in-person. Or Saturday morning, you guys could do a purses and perk online party and say, okay, our purses, this is the last weekend, which I love this idea. This is the last weekend for our purses to be $25. So why not wake up and have your coffee with me and do a little online shopping? You can set up a Facebook event and go live um, and invite just those people that uh, have those $20 credits. And you can say, you know, I, you guys, this is the last weekend to get our $25 purses. And I know you guys um, have a perk for shopping with me this summer. And that's that $20 credit. I'm going to do a purses and perk party this weekend. <coughs> <coughs> So that's a good way for y'all to do an online one. People are always sitting around this weekend drinking coffee and doing online shopping. So why not go live in a little Facebook weekend event, okay? I put that picture in the middle. Um, this is uh, just a picture with me sitting there with some balloons, more of a celebration. And so you can do a celebration, a credit celebration party. That's what I would call it, a credit celebration party. And you're celebrating your customers because they supported your business over the summer. And you're going to do a celebration and maybe you're going to give away um, some free gifts. I've got those gift bags there and you can say, everybody that places an order on Saturday is going to have an extra entry into this celebration party. You can do some fun giveaways. You can pull some things out from your stash and say, anybody that books a party during this credit celebration party, you're going to give them one of the gift bags. You can have 10 gift bags set up. So use it as a credit celebration party, but also use it as a time to book some parties. Pull out some of your stash. Okay, so don't just settle for a $20 gift certificate. Go ahead and try to get some bookings while they're all trying to redeem these credits. This is something that you can throw together this weekend or you can do um, anytime up to November the 11th for those credits. The third thing, this is actually an idea that came from Whitney Bach on our team. She is pretty amazing and did a couple of live videos this past week. And one of her ideas was to do a mystery hostess party. If you have not seen her live video on our team Pasalakas page, our world-class team page, you want to go watch it because she truly walks you through how to do a mystery hostess party. 
basically a mystery mystery hostess party is everybody that purchases on this party uh, gets their name entered into a drawing and she's given away the hostess uh, credit she's given away the hostess half off and the exclusive so her idea is amazing if you haven't listened to it i would encourage you to go over to our team page and listen to whitney's um, video on how to do a mystery hostess party that one's a good one okay so last but not least, I'm going to open it up to some questions if you girls have any. This is a worksheet. If you want to do a little screenshot of this, I'll post this um, uh, kind of this worksheet out there on our team page. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to fill in the, these four boxes. So how many product credits do you have? So let's say that you had 10 customers that shopped from you okay and uh, you had 10 customers that are on your report that have that $20 credit if they all redeem them the minimum that you could have is a $200 party okay so that's easy math 10 customers times $20 that gives you a $200 party you would make $50 commission on that um, and oh by the way if y'all haven't calculated it you're making five dollars on every one of those $20 credits that is redeemed if they redo, do it just for you know for product not including tax and shipping okay so you make five dollars on every one of those twenty dollars that are being redeemed now how many let's say you had ten um, credits over here and you're going to push them to get those pink sky bundles you're going to push them to use that twenty dollar credit to get some fun and back fashionable functional bundles uh, this fall you could have an eight hundred dollar party that would be a two hundred dollar paycheck for you and the hostess credit if you're keeping it for yourself um, if you guys don't know this and most of you guys know this you can look in your catalog i don't know if y'all can see me but you could look in your catalog and look at that chart eight hundred is a hundred and twenty five dollar in hostess credit so if you're the if you're the hostess and the consultant with the eight hundred dollar party you're going to make two hundred dollars in commission you're also going to make hundred and twenty five dollars in free credit so I want y'all to fill out this worksheet because your numbers are going to be totally different based on how many credits that you have. Okay. So I want y'all to work on that worksheet. So just to kind of recap, um, you have everybody that's on your report has a $20 credit. I'm going to encourage you guys to do not just the 20, but really push to get some of these bundles. You guys know that we've got several bundles out there that are pretty amazing with all the fall products. The customers have to create a customer account. There's no way around not creating a customer account. Bottom line, they've got to create it. If they could not do it, feel free to create, create, create it for them. I had to create my mother's for her because there's no way she was going to do it. But there's also no way I was going to let her lose that $20 or my $5 commission on that $20. So I, don't feel bad about trying to help them. Set up a generic password they will have to have first password you can do their first initial last name and 2010 if you want or 2019 okay just make up a dummy password that you can remember use a good system first initial last name in the year okay all right so let me stop this so i totally shared a lot amanda you got your hands up i would love to hear your voice let me unmute you you may have to unmute, unmute yourself yeah i had a customer this morning that said she liked the um whatever the sign in so that they have their own account because she said it directed them to shop with a party okay good 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 so i'm hoping that that i mean i never i haven't gone in to try to do it my way but if that really is the case i think that's awesome because that would help so many other you know people that just randomly shop online <clears throat> yes if you have not walked through it I can walk through one real quick for you but what I do love about this new system is it used to not ask them that but now when they actually go in and shop it's going to ask them um, if they want to put it to, they're gonna ask them for the consultant and they're also gonna ask them um, if they want to apply it to a party which that's new so I can show you guys that if you want me to but um, yes it's an option I love it. Good, good, good. Do y'all want me to show you that? I can, I'll, I can, let me just, I'll show, I think we're done unless anybody else has any questions, but I can walk through there with y'all. Okay. 
Um, I don't see any questions, but I, just for the recording sake, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. Oop, let me share the screen real quick. And these are things I've already talked about. So if you need to go, you can go, but I'm going to walk through a couple of things for y'all. Okay. So um, I am on TOT right here. I'm on 31 today. Here is the reports over on the left-hand side. If you see um, left-hand side, the third thing down is reports. You're going to click on reports. And when you get to reports, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this this um, customer credit report here. I say credit, customer credit, but you're gonna click on that and this is what your report should look like. It's gonna have all of the emails that were uh, orders that were placed. It's gonna sort them by the email, your customer name. Now, this girl, for instance, this first girl that I have on list, she shot three times. So there's three order numbers, but she's only gonna get one $20 credit. Okay, so this is what your report is gonna look like. At the very bottom, there's a second section and it'll say orders with your email, uh, with, with your email and no email listed or no email listed. So like for instance, um, I, here's, this is my daughter's order here. She ordered twice, but she doesn't have an email. So it was under my email. Okay, so this Pamela um, gal, she ordered, but there was no email. We put it under my email. So I'm going to have to give, get her to set up an account and then I'm gonna to have to give her these two numbers right here, the order number and the date. And when she does that, it will give her the product credit. So you'll have two sections on your report that you're gonna to have to pay attention to, okay? Um, then when you guys get to your, uh, let me go back over here. When you get into your website, so they're going to go to your website and at, at the very, very top, it's gonna to say sign in. That means that she's not logged in yet. Now remember, they can use these credits with any consultant. So you want to get ahead of this. So here's the sign in. If they've already got an email and password, they can enter that in here or they can hit create account. If they create account, just so you guys know, oh, let me do this again. If the account has already been set up and I will tell you guys, this is, if I can remember my last name here, I'll type it in right. Um, if they've already created the account. So if you've got a list of people and let's say for an example, there's a girl on your list and she won't email you back, she won't call you, you can't get a hold of her. You can go and create an account, pretend you're creating an account and you can type her email in here, okay? And if that account has already been set up, it's going to tell you. So let's just make up, if I was gonna do my first initial and my last name and do 2019, that's kind of the system that I'm using. This is what it's gonna tell you, because I know I've already set it up. Oh gosh, let me, I'm not a robot. Let me see, car, 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 car. Okay, verify. Create an account. This is what it's gonna say. The email entered is already in use. There, it's not gonna let that account be set up again. So if you have a customer on your list you just cannot get a hold of, you can go and check to see if she's had it, had it set up. Now remember, when you put that password in there, if it hasn't been set up, then that's her password. So get a good system. First initial, last name, the year. That's what I would do. That's easy for you to remember. Be consistent, write it down. Then you can call her and say, hey, you know, hey Jennifer, I set up your account for you. Your $20 gift certificate is ready for you to use. Okay. So once you've done that, you're, you're going to be able to sign in. So let's just put my mine in there and I'm going to say sign in. So once it's been set up, it'll direct them to sign in immediately. When you do that, you can see at the very top, it's now gonna say my account versus sign in. You can click on my account and this is where the benefit is gonna be made. So you can see I did a little shopping, don't y'all steal my product credit, but there it is, $20 I've got to spend on something and I'm holding mine to October the 1st so I can pay for my two uh, medium utility totes. That's what I'm using it for. Okay, so you can see that's where the customer's account is gonna be. So she can always just click on my account she can go to my benefits and boom, that's where it should be. If she used that email when she originally ordered, it'll immediately do it. If not, it'll say claim your reward and she'll have to enter that order number in, which is on your report. You're going to have to give it to her. Okay, so now we're ready to shop. So let's do a little shopping. So we're going to do, um, let's just buy, how about we buy a couple of the Hello Happy bags? You guys know that these Hello Happy bags are new every a uh, month, and so let's just order two of them. I know it's gonna qualify me for a customer special. I know y'all are gonna tell me that, but let me just go ahead and get, I wanted to get it over $20. So then you can say, um, begin checkout. 
Okay. Now, do y'all see this message? Amanda, this is what you're talking. You are not shopping with one of your consultants parties. Click on my party. So it brings up this big message. You're not shopping under a party. Hold up. Okay. But what if that customer says, nah, I don't know any parties. I don't care. I'm going to check out. When she puts her information in here, she's going to have to put this information in here. Um, it's going to ask her again, you're shopping under this consultant. Hello, you didn't choose a party. What's wrong with you? Choose a party. And so then you can go in here and select one of these parties that are set up. Okay, so you can see I've got a fall 31 party set up. Okay, she's chose a party. Good. Now we'll let you go forward. Um, we're going to ship it straight to that hostess. You're going to put that information in here. Um, let's say ship to me. Oh, shoot. I must not have an address put in there. Let me put it in here, here so y'all can see it, what it's going to do. Okay, it's in there. Let's go forward. Oh, yes, we're going to round up. You guys are all rounding up, right? So we're going to put our pocket change in there. Here's what I was talking about. Some people are trying to put that number in here. It's not going to work. You have to go to the product credit drop down. There it is right there. Okay, it is truly that easy. You're going to hit apply. It's going to adjust that total and then you're gonna be able to go in and get, get that, okay? So the remaining balance, let's see, I don't know why it did that, but uh, probably because I didn't finish doing it. But anyway, so there's your, there's your total, okay? So it is truly that easy. Um, if once they create the account, boom, it's immediately there, or they have to hit claim, then they can go shop, okay? If they don't wanna shop, they gotta give you that product credit number you can enter it for them. But I hope this gives you an idea of why you want your customer's information. So when you're filling out order forms at parties, get her information, get her address, get her email, get everything that you can get. Don't move forward in your business without getting new customers emails, okay? Because that is how they're gonna be tracking these customers from this point forward. Now, I did, I'll give one disclaimer and then I'm done. If y'all have anything to ask, you can. Um, I did notice on my report, for instance, I have, um, a customer on here it's the same girl but she used two different emails technically it's only one twenty dollar credit per customer but because she used two different emails this girl is actually going to get two twenty dollar credits so that's something you guys may want to look at because that may you know it's up to you how you want to pursue that but technically she does have two twenty dollar credits because she had two different emails okay so y'all decide on what you want to do with that but i'm just going to tell you that if they're shopping under different emails, it's tied to the, to the email. Okay, so if she shopped with a work email and a home email during that time frame, she's gonna have two $20 credits, okay? All right, that's all I got. Um, was this helpful? Do you feel like it was information that maybe you didn't know, gave you some ideas? My biggest thing I want y'all to take away is don't limit yourself. I, here's my, oh, let me say this too, because I gotta say this. So this is what 31 told me today, and it's not okay with me, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all. So they told us today on a call that they are expecting, so remember it's a very short, short period for these to be redeemed. They're kind of anticipating only 34% of these credits being redeemed. Y'all, I might actually shed a little tear here. There's no reason why we should not be committed to 100% redemption on our team. Do y'all see me leaning in and telling y'all that? If you have 10 credits, I want you to cash in on 10 credits. That's $200. That's $50 in your pocket. 31 has projected, based on history, only 34% of these credits are gonna get redeemed. Yeah, like seriously, I wanna cry over that. First of all, because it affects our team. Second of all, this is my livelihood, and I know many of you guys depend on this income. This is free money on the table for you to cash in on. This is free money that you will get credit for being amped, you get credit for sales, for personal volume, you get credit for ribbons at national conference, you get wishes rewards if you're a new consultant. Do not leave any on the table, okay? Now, I know you're gonna be chasing some of these people down, but it's worth putting a little effort in this. If you're sitting there with nothing on your calendar, no parties on your calendar, you start chopping away at this list, you get a link set up on your website, and you get that product redeemed, okay? You've gotten to November the 11th, but I would encourage you guys to get you an October 15th or 30th deadline and put a little pressure on these consultants or these customers to use it so the stuff will get there in time for Christmas, okay? Not that I'm saying it won't get there in Christmas, but don't, don't, put any, don't leave any cards out, okay?
Uh, so I want us to have a way better redemption rate than 34%. Kind of crappy, if you ask me. Okay. That's all I got to say. Y'all good? Good? You good, Amanda? You got anything to say? Can I ask you a question about something else? Yes. Is it about the credit? Is it about the credit? I'm going to stop the recording. Okay, hang on one second. Thank you, guys.